praise the Lord. This is a real quick hitter. You know, prayer is not so we can place orders with God in our life, but prayer is so God can place order in our lives through prayer. So I've noticed a trend or a fad, I pray as a fad, but I hate to say trend, that has transpired over the last few years um, on social media. Now, this started with human beings. When someone offers a prayer, or you ask them to pray for you, this is one I love. You pray for me, pray for me, Reverend Davis. Don't call me Reverend. You get reverence unto God, call me brother, because I have flaws. Brother Davis, will you pray for me? Okay, we can pray right here. Right here? Yeah, right here. <laughs> People freak out when I pray for them on the spot. You know, and it's like in American Express. I don't leave home without it. That's my faith in prayer. And so this is my other favorite one. You start praying for the person. And this is part of my message, my point. You start praying for the person. Then all of a sudden they get warmed up and Lord, uh, if you see fit, uh, I mean, they just take the prayer from you and, 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 and wait a minute, you just asked me to pray now, so you didn't hijack the prayer. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And this is uh, another case of prayer-itis. It's when you offer prayer. You see, you need to understand, if you can sit down and make up prayer, then you can sit down and make up God. You can sit down and make up the enemy of our soul, Shatan himself, and I rebuke him in the name of Jesus for bringing him up. But if you can sit down and, like for instance, when I'm blessed of the most high God, high God to pen, to, to be divinely inspired or led to pen a prayer. We must understand that we are syringes. I know I am. And we must empty ourselves of ourselves and allow the most high God, high God, to pour himself into us. And therefore we become syringe is filled with the blood of God or the presence of God or the Shekinah glory or whatever verb is the definition you want to uh, use as I leave this alone. We become filled from the inside out. Therefore, we become contagious. The word therefore is there for a reason. <laughs> so this is the other one I love when someone's divinely inspired or you can see or hear or read or feel or discern the prayer on, pep on paper, on screen, on your smartphone. This is one that, this is a case in point I really gotta touch on. Why is it when someone offers a prayer, people postscript the prayer? If you agree with what was just said, see while prayer is being offered, you can amen the prayer or you can feel the presence of the prayer, the prayer posture in your mind and heart and pray where you are, your own prayer. I know I'm able to do that and bless up the most high God, high God to do that. But oftentimes when someone else is praying, uh, amen. Thank you, Father God. Let that apply to all of us, Father God, that it will. And I don't over talk to prayer. I don't over talk to man or woman or child that's praying. We must stop postscripting prayer. If you agree, I mean, God of truth, if you agree with what was just stated or said, you say, amen, amen, amen. You know, you mean you agree. Eh, I mean, God of truth, as I leave this alone. So those of you who like the postscript prayers, you're out of order. You don't have to add to it, but you can if you choose to. But it's like, it's like cooking. I didn't cook it. I didn't season everything. The kitchen and the house smells good. And here you come putting Mrs. Dash or... Uh, seasoning salt or, or sea salt and you haven't even tasted the food you come in just start throwing salt in the pots and, and that's how it is when people are praying uh, y'all come in the kitchen of God and start just taking the lids off of pots and pans and throwing your seasoning and you don't know what or how the daily bread or how the meal tastes as I leave this alone prayer is not so we can place orders with God in our life prayer so God can place order in our lives through prayer. Y'all stop hijacking people's prayers. Stop postscripting and 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 and, and taking people's uh taking the lead. Um don't uh holler louder than a person praying. It's about uh uh being one. You know, we have to understand that when we sing a song, we're singing unto the Lord. 
and not unto the congregation. Help me, Lord. Yes, we are. When we pray, we're praying unto God. When we preach, we're preaching unto the people. As I leave this alone, prayer is the only means of communicating with God. It's your instant message. It's your inbox. It's your transponder, your transceiver. It's your email. It's your text. It's the only way we can commune with God is prayer. If you want much uh, power with God, then you ought to pray all the time. No prayer, no power. <laughs> much prayer, much power as I leave this alone. Stay on your knees and your mind and heart. I'm going to get on the end. I'm still not 100%, but I tell you what, the percentage that I have, I'm going to do the best I can <laughs> where I am with what I have. I'm going to take what I have, say that again, where I am and do the best I can. Pray. Don't give God the silent treatment. It's in the book of Job. He says, thou restrain of prayer before God. Don't be a prayer hater. Google it. Thou restrain of prayer before God. Don't be a prayer hater. Don't take over people's prayers. Stop postscripting prayer unless you're going to amen. El Hameen. El Amen. God of truth. Peace. One.